times have you been sitting there working on your computer, right? You're listening to your music, and all of a sudden you get a phone call. <gasps> now there's this mad scramble because you have to use your mouse or you got to do something on your keyboard here, and you're trying to get paused so you can answer the phone without music playing in the background. Well, I had this Windows 7 system, and I thought, well, let me check it out and you know see what the options are to control iTunes, which pretty much is the most popular uh, music player on computers today, PC and Mac, right? So a lot of newer keyboards have a row of multimedia keys, and one of them is play, pause. Well, what I noticed was that it still works the same where if you want to uh, pause iTunes, you have to have iTunes up. So that means if you're on another screen, uh -uh, it's not going to work. So I went Googling to see if there was an answer, and yes, I found one. So I'm going to share that with you. Let's go ahead and switch over to the monitor and take a look. So here we are in iTunes. Uh, this is Aaliyah. Let's go ahead and play this. And then we'll uh, check stuff out. And so right here, you know, you can be choosing your songs and whatever, but obviously with the window maximized, you can't really work. The same goes for being able to pause. You have to come up here and hit the button. You can also hit the space bar, which will pause and unpause as well, like I did. But there has to be a better way, right? There is. Let's go take a look. So we'll head over here to Google, and I typed in focus, iTunes, pause, because those are the actions. When I want to be able to focus into iTunes and then pause. So the fourth result worked out great, mmkeys.dll. And what this is, is it's a little file that you download right here, and you put it into a folder on your computer inside iTunes. So if you're on XP, Here's where it goes. In this case, I'm on Windows 7, so it says follow Vista instructions. Put it into C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer, iTunes, iTunes Plugins. And that's exactly what I did. I took the file that I downloaded, threw it into C, Users, A, which is my profile name, App Data, Roaming, Apple Computer, iTunes, iTunes Plugins. Boom. Then the other important part is it says you also need to restart iTunes to load the DLL file, which I did. And let me tell you, this worked flawlessly. Now I can be in any application and simply hit that little button and be ready to go. Now you might be concerned like, Adria, will this work? Guess what? Out of the 349 responses, most people are saying you are the best, works great, thanks, thanks, thanks. Because I know sometimes people are concerned that stuff may not work. So. Feel free to go ahead and use that little multimedia button now. And if you have questions, you can always ask. Until next time, embrace your inner nerd.